Well, I just want to say thank you, okay? Uh, I Literally, as I just mentioned, we just came from a briefing at Homeland Security. This is really a whole of government response. The Vice President there, Mike Pence, speaking with members of the National Guard currently mobilized in D.C. More than 250 guardsmen from North Carolina will be joining those already there in Washington to help keep the peace through next week's inauguration. Back here at home, it's double duty for the North Carolina National Guard. In fact, it's taking place as we speak. Yeah, CBS 17 Jimmy's Price live this morning to explain how in both cases, uh, Jimmy's main goal here, all about protection. That's right, Randy. We told you just half an hour ago how those guardsmen are working to protect the Capitol. They are prepared to do that over the weekend, but they're also assisting in the vaccination process rolling out across the state. This is an effort to try and help and speed up the distribution of those COVID-19 vaccines. Since the vaccines rolled out, um, since the rollout began here in North Carolina, it is ranked among the slowest states to administer shots to people. The latest data from the CDC shows more than 850,000 doses have been distributed to North Carolinians, but only about 266,000 of those have been administered to people. So that's about 31% so far. Soldiers and airmen, that are supporting this effort have done about 4,000 vaccinations. Once we get a demand signal, we have the personnel that's trained in, in giving vaccines, just like any other medical provider that can go and support that. Now, Major Matthew Bull says there are four teams of six guardsmen helping in this rollout, but they are prepared to uh, make that number or take that number up to 18 teams if there is a need. So they're looking to hear from folks in the community to find out the needs, and they are ready to assist. Live in Raleigh, Jimmy's Price, CBS 17 News.